This is a presentation about shifts in the demand curve. After this presentation, you should have a very good idea of what we mean by this word shifts. So let's start with the demand curve. We know that the demand curve shows the price of the good itself against the quantity that consumers are willing to buy. It is a downward sloping curve. But what we have to realize is that apart from the price of the good, there are actually at least four other factors that affect the quantity that consumers are willing to buy. These four factors include consumer incomes, the price of substitutes, the price of complementary goods, and consumer tastes. But these are not shown on the demand curve. When we draw the demand curve, we only look at the price of the good itself against the quantity. All of the four other factors which we know affect the quantity are not shown on the demand curve. Why is this? Because we assume when we draw the demand curve that all of these factors are in fact constant. In other words, not changing. So when we draw the demand curve, we're assuming that none of these factors change. So let's see what happens when one of these factors does change. And this will tell us what causes a right shift in the demand curve. Let's start with a demand curve like this and assume that the income of the consumer, of the consumers, goes up. So this was one of the factors we assumed was not changing, but let's assume it now does change. Let's assume that consumers' incomes now do go up. This means that at any price, people will want to buy more of the product than they did before. So the demand curve will actually shift to the right as a result of the increase in consumer incomes. So what we can see is that a shift in the demand curve is caused when any one of these four factors that we assumed to be constant when we drew our origi original demand curve changes. So now let's look at another one of these changes, a left shift. Let's imagine that the price of a substitute product for the one whose demand curve is drawn here the price of a substitute product goes down. So if this was the demand curve for, shall we say, Coke, let's assume that the price of Pepsi actually goes down. Now some people will switch over to Pepsi. So what will happen is that the demand curve for Coca-Cola will shift to the left. Again, the price of a substitute is one of those four factors that we mentioned that we assumed was not changing when we drew the demand curve. So if any of these factors does change, it leads to a shift, either a right shift or, as in this case, a left shift in the demand curve. 